What's a good word, everybody? Tiger727 back with another video. Uh, this video uh, kind of follows along a little bit with some of my other videos. If you followed along with my Upper Peninsula of Michigan UP collection of players, um, there's a lot of things that kind of uh, come together, I guess, with this uh, trade I made on the trading card database. A uh, gentleman reached out to me a few weeks ago. And I don't even remember what I traded to him. I'd have to go back and look. But uh, for me, it wasn't much. And <clears throat> I learned that, uh, you know, as, as a young kid, you didn't really pay a lot of attention, at least I didn't, to the minor leagues. And uh, obviously, I was a big Tiger fan as a kid. And all I could wait for was Tiger baseball to start in the spring. And didn't much care about the minor leagues. And didn't pay a whole lot of attention to it. But... If you watched the video a while back where I made my blunder of um, adding every Tiger card that I didn't already have entered in the, into the trading card database to my want list. Uh, so this guy reached out to me and said he had a team set from, oh, I can't remember the year now, let me double check this, uh, 1980 or 81 of the Birmingham Barons. So I did some checking and I had no idea, but the Birmingham Barons were actually a part of the Tiger organization um, in the early 80s. So he ended up sending me this team set. The one card that's missing is the Howard Johnson. So if anybody happens to have that, um, please reach out to me and I'd be willing to purchase it from you or trade. Um, but <clears throat> very, very good condition cards. And I'm going to go through these, and you're going to find out, or I'll show you why they, uh, one card in here follows in suit with my Upper Peninsula of Michigan collection. I'm just going through these pretty quick. Again, these are all Birmingham Barons. <clears throat> I'll show you back one of the cards here in a little bit. And again, I, I didn't know that the Birmingham Barons were part of the... Detroit Tiger organization. They are now part of the White Sox, I believe. At least they were, I know, because um, Michael Jordan played there in the uh, early 90s. Most of these guys are probably no names. I'd be surprised if anybody who watches my videos, if, you've, if you know any of these names, um, but if you don't know one of these names, one will definitely stand out to you here shortly. It might not stand out to the point where you know it, but you won't forget it after I show it to you. And last I knew, that's not the John Lackey that we know today. Uh, I missed a card here, Bruce Robbins. Ron Mathis. Yeah, they were with the Tigers from 57 to 61, and then also from uh, 81 to 85. So, <clears throat> before I get to the card that I'm going to refer here to my UP collection, because I don't have any of the graded ones yet, I'm not sure if I've showed any. I believe he's still in the major leagues as a coach, or a bench coach, or a pitching coach, maybe in the minors. Um, but as I said, this name will not escape you. Dick Pohl. Your laugh here. Uh, Mr. Pohl grew up in uh, the Upper Peninsula. He was born in a small town of Trout Creek. That's where he grew up. And uh, spent part of his career with... Uh, the Reds, obviously the Tigers and the minor leagues, um, and in the future I'll talk more about that as to what his career was and where he where he spent his career once I start getting more of his cards, uh, but I have very, very few, and I'm not even sure if I've shown those, but uh, just wanted to show that. That was kind of a cool little pickup. Um, like I said, I think I traded maybe five or six cards for it, and... Uh, Nothing over the top, but uh, as a Tiger collector, that's uh, I'm super happy to have it. So I will let you all go. Thanks for watching.